In the town of Niles, Michigan, there lies an exhibit highlighting a substance that many people take for granted. The Waterways is a Smithsonian traveling exhibit um, that is here in Niles for six weeks. The exhibit opened on January 5th and it's actually here through February 16th. Um, it is a Smithsonian national exhibit, but it's administered through the local or the State Humanities Council. So the Michigan Humanities Council chose six sites it, throughout the state to display the exhibit. So we were one of the sites chosen and it was a huge honor for us. Our library has a vision of providing lifelong learning opportunities for everyone in the community. So this seemed like a perfect opportunity to draw in more people and let them learn more about the, the rivers and waters. So we have an amazing river here in Niles. It's a historic, unique river. And the more that the kids understand why it's so special, the more they'll appreciate it. And I think the more they'll appreciate it, the better they'll take care of it as they get older and they'll teach their kids to take care of it. For many Americans, access to clean water comes at the push of a button, but for some, it's not that easy. I guess I wanna say that um, even though we are the Great Lakes state, we, not everybody has access to clean water. We know that is something that is very relevant today, you know, especially with the Flint water crisis, but it's something that a lot of people experience and are still dealing with too. So I think that the Waterways exhibit um, addresses those issues and it gives, talks about how people are working to combat this issue, but also how can people make a change in their own community and um, be part of the bigger picture, I guess, and, and make, a, make a difference. Well, obviously, no littering. Uh, understanding that the more trash you put in the river, um, our local ecosystem and the animals are affected, and that is definitely part of this exhibit. Uh, there's a whole bin of plastic bottles that were pulled from waterways. Uh, so taking care of the river um, by not polluting uh, understanding that it's not just a river to look at. You can use it for recreation. You can canoe in it. You can fish in it. It's, it's meant to be used. It's not meant to be abused. In your own community, you can um, be more aware of what you are putting down your drains. We talk about the St. Joseph River watershed in this area specifically, and just being aware that whatever goes down your drain eventually leads to some body of water and being more mindful of making sure that we are not polluting our local waterways or even making sure we are conserving water. You know, turning, um, taking shorter showers or even turning off the faucet while you're brushing your teeth and not having it running the whole time. Those are all things you can do in your everyday life that can make a difference in the long run. Waterways is not your typical museum style exhibit. It features tons of hands-on learning experiences for the family to enjoy. I don't know if you can hear it, but I love the sound of the water that is in the background of the, of the exhibit. I love the visual element of it. It's very colorful, it's eye attracting, and the videos are entertaining. You know, you could sit here and watch the educational videos for forever. I really like the um, seeing the people connect and make the connections with our local waterways because the exhibit talks about the national story, but here in Niles specifically, we have the St. Joseph River and we have Barron Lake just a little bit um, outside of the city limits. And I like when people make those connections and learn about the history and how those local waterways really shaped our community. It's not very often you're going to get to see a Smithsonian exhibit outside of the Washington DC. So it's a really unique opportunity to get this quality of exhibit and information here in your hometown. I just would encourage people to come down and look at this exhibit. It's, it's a Smithsonian exhibit. Um, a lot of people can't afford to go to Washington DC to the real Smithsonian and this is a little piece of it. And I think that is such a unique opportunity for our community to get to experience the Smithsonian, like the greatest museum that we have in this country. And I think that if you don't participate in that experience,